Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you 25 outfits that have been sent in by you guys. Now because there are so many, these won't be full step by step tutorials. Instead I've decided to do a little cinematic of each outfit then accompanied by a picture of it with a list of the components used. This list will include both the clothing items and the glitches. If the clothing item has a little star at the end of it then that means it will be involved in one of the glitches which will be listed at the bottom. The shorter glitches will be shown at the end of the video which are timestamped in that list. However, there will be video links in the description for the longer glitches. That's pretty much all I have to say for now so let's just get on to the outfits.
Okay, so now that we've gotten through all of the outfits, it's time to go through some of the glitches. To begin this glitch, you either need to go down to the telescopes at Del Piro Pier or to the one in your high-end apartment. We're going to be wearing the saved outfit that has the hat, glasses and gear that we want to combine with a mask. Next, we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to masks. From here, we're simply just going to scroll through until we get to the mask that we want. Close the interaction menu and sprint towards the telescope at an angle. Press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If timed correctly, then your character will just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you will no longer be wearing the mask. In the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and equip the one that has the hat, glasses and gear. When you walk away from the telescope, you should then notice that the mask will then reappear. Alternatively though, you can also go into style and accessories and equip the hat, glasses and gear manually. Like before, once you walk away from the telescope, you should then notice that the mask will then reappear. In order to get the pilot headset, you're first going to need to find a yacht. If you don't own one, then fly around in a public free mode session until you find one. We're then going to need to open up the interaction menu and we're going to go into style. From here, we're simply just going to scroll down the list and we're going to make sure that auto show aircraft helmet is set to on as well as auto show bike helmet. You also need to be wearing an outfit which doesn't have any items on the head such as hats or masks. Okay, so now that we have that sorted, we're going to get into a helicopter. Once you're in, you should then notice that your character has the pilot headset on. Please do note that the helicopter must not have any weapons, otherwise it will give you the flight suit helmet. For example, use a helicopter such as the Maverick or the one on the yacht instead of a buzzard. The next step is to then fly the helicopter to the back of the yacht, and at this point you're then going to land the front of the helicopter gently into the hot tub. Once it touches the water, you're then going to simply just exit the helicopter. You should then be standing in the hot tub with your swimwear. If you have your normal clothes on, then you need to change the hot tub settings in your interaction menu. When the rotor blades eventually stop spinning, you're then going to leave the hot tub and you should then notice that the pilot headset will reappear onto your outfit. We're now going to need to head down to the nearest clothing store. You're now going to save this outfit in a separate slot just in case you need to reuse it again in the future. After that's been done, we're then going to head outside and you're going to need a motorbike for this next part. Just to reiterate, open up your interaction menu, go into style and make sure that auto show bike helmet is set to on. We're then going to get onto the motorbike and wait a couple of seconds until the character puts on a bike helmet. The bike helmet does not have to be the same one that I am using, it can be any random one. Open the interaction menu, go into style and go down to parachute. Now get off the bike, go down to outfit and scroll along to the outfit that you want the pilot headset on. Equip the outfit as your character is removing the bike helmet. The timing of that glitch is very important, so it might take a couple of attempts before you get it right. This glitch can also be used to put any hat onto any mask. To put the scarf on the hooded jacket, you first need to open the interaction menu and go into style and accessories. From here we're going to go down to where it says masks and you're going to scroll along until you get to the black tight ski. If you don't have this, then buy it from the mask store. Now back out to style and make sure that the hood is set to up. Go back once more, go into inventory and body armour and equip whichever one you like. Just don't use the super light armour as it will remove the scarf. Next we're going to go back into style and accessories, go down to scarves and equip which scarf you want to use. Lastly go back up to masks and scroll through until the hood goes down or until you find the mask that you want to use on the hood jacket. Do not set the hood to down from the interaction menu because that will remove the scarf. For the flight hose glitch, you first need to be wearing the flight suit and then you need to walk into the Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club. You should then notice that the hose on the front of the flight suit has disappeared. In the interaction menu, we're going to go into style and go down to outfit and equip the outfit that you want the hose onto. When you walk outside, you'll then be able to see it on the front of your outfit. Now just walk over to the clothing store across the road and make sure that you save the outfit. With all of that being said, we are now pretty much done so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel where you can find a bunch of different outfits and tutorials such as this one. If you have an outfit or a glitch that you would like to send to me then please do make sure that you send it to my email which is militatedyt at gmail.com or to my Instagram which is officialmilitated. If you have any additional questions then please do leave them down in the comment section below as I do try to reply to as many people as possible. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.